Hello, I'm Professor Christopher Willey. As a physician scientist, my goal is to find new ways to study and treat cancer in my laboratory while continuing to see and treat cancer patients in our clinics. Today, I'd like to tell you about an exciting potential new therapy called FLASH. When high energy radiation combines with oxygen, DNA damage occurs, which can kill cancer cells. However, radiation cannot distinguish good cells from bad cells, so during radiation treatment for cancer, we can cause both tumor destruction and normal tissue injury. To tip the scales for the patient, we have two main strategies. First, we can break the treatment into many pieces, called fractions, to allow the normal tissue to repair the DNA damage in between those treatments. Or second, we can aim the radiation only on the tumor and avoid everything else. Unfortunately, most tumors invade into and around critical normal tissues, which limits what we can do. The concept of flash therapy completely flips this paradigm on its head. Instead of treating patients over many fractions or attempting to avoid nearby tissue, flash therapy takes advantage of a unique biology that occurs when radiation is delivered at ultra high dose rate, less than a second for an entire course. Both flash and conventional radiation can kill the tumor equally well. The difference is in terms of the normal tissue. Standard radiation injures normal tissue leading to cell death, inflammation, and organ dysfunction. Flash radiation, delivering a full course of therapy in a matter of milliseconds, will temporarily use up the oxygen in the tissue, which reduces the DNA damage to those normal cells. This results in less injury to normal tissue and lower amounts of inflammation, preserving the organs. This flash effect can allow us to safely treat tumors to higher doses. This new potential therapy is being investigated here at UAB in a preclinical setting and will ultimately include clinical trials. UAB is part of an international group of laboratory and clinical researchers called the Flash Forward Consortium that is dedicated to the study and implementation of flash therapy for patients. Dr. Lewis Shi and my lab have received research grants that will help us understand how this flash therapy works in models of melanoma skin cancer and glioblastoma brain cancer. I am very excited for the opportunity to harness the potential flash therapy. Right now, our proton center can deliver flash radiation in a preclinical setting, and it is only a matter of time before we will be able to open a clinical trial for our patients.